welcome you to Los Angeles. Two of the best teams in the game square off. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Ronald Acuna Jr., always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set, and today's starting pitcher, Landon Knapp. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. All right, ready to go here. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Ronald Acuna Jr. The pitch. Just missed. That one ripped. Pahits makes the grab one down. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Foul ball there. Albies is playing on the road, so you know that means he's been FaceTiming with his pet fish. This guy owns a few home aquariums, and it's no secret he likes talking to his fish when he's away. In fact, Albies had cameras installed so he can check on the fish anytime he wants. That's in there. And it's 0-2. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. Next pitch is downstairs. Righty delivers. Albies tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. And yes, he offered at it. Here's Austin Riley. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Balls it in to end the inning. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. here at Dodger Stadium and on the hill in this one Charlie Morton and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Mookie Betts at the plate now. That's ball one. Betts getting to start at shortstop, 31 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2011. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. The shortstop takes a ball. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. Well, and those hitters' counts sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Got him looking. One out. And now it's Max Muncy. Hey. 
There's a strike. And it's even up. Right through there for a strike. Well, he left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. One down, base is empty. Not close with that one. Now two and two. In the air, center field. Harris puts it away. Two down. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. now. Of course, one of the best players in the game today, Mookie Betts. You know, Boog, he really makes the most out of his skill sets, leading the team in steals and on-base percentage. And, you know, you got sometimes a guy that can run really well, but he doesn't get on base enough to utilize that potential. As soon as this guy gets on first, he's thinking about second and then third. He's got the wheels to make that kind of stuff happen and really disrupt the ball game. I love watching guys like him who just make stuff happen in the lineup. you one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the play and it's out number three. We played an inning. No score. Back here in L.A., top of the second, and now Matt Olson up to hit. For Matt, a pretty impressive resume. A first-round pick back in 2012. The Braves extended him eight years, $168 million. Remember, they traded for him right at the end of the lockout in 2022, middle of March, so he didn't have a ton of time to get acclimated to his new team. Now the 01. Just right missed. One of the things from 2023, great counting stats for Matt Olson, but the hard hit rate was through the roof. Eight. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. And with the extreme crowd to that batting stance, Ricky made pitchers work. His strike zone was as small as it gets. He's looking to get on base any way he can because he knows a single is a triple. And another ball. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that's a fair ball. And that's a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Next one is off the play. Two and oh. Go ahead run at second. Here at the top of the second. And that one fouled off. That missed inside. And the count is three and one. Man, it's second. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's Orlando Arcia.
right through there for a strike. That one is absolutely belted. One hops off the wall, should be extra bases. One runs in, cut off, now a throw home. Close play, but in there. It's two zip. Gets him on the board first, coming through with two RBIs on that swing. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now, Michael Harris. That one fouled off. That one the other way. And that's a base hit. Arcia rounds third, headed for the plate. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's Travis Darno with the plate. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Harris aboard here at first with nobody out. Check on the runner. Harris gets back easily. That pitch in for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Ground ball left side could be two. Betts to second. Relay to first. Double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's Jared Kelnick. That clips the corner. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that is in for a strike. 0-2. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that's the third out. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Braves three, and the Dodgers nothing. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Morton, back to work. And there's the strike. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Swing and a bouncer. Throw on to Olsen. Leadoff man retired here in the second. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. And first offering is fouled off. Hard ground ball base now. So a man aboard now with one away. 
Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Here's Kike Hernandez. Ball, that's out. Down the middle for a strike. And one and one. Back to the mound. It hit him. And they get the out after the ricochet. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Chris Taylor now. And that one pulled foul. Rudder at second, two down. Next offering down. is down low. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Now it's the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. Here comes a pitch. Yeah. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 2. Rips one to right and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now batting the second base. Ozzy. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's the strike. And look out, out. as that one out. ran in and got him. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. Up it's off speed, but it still stings. Getting hit by a fastball is a whole different story. Riley. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. That's a strike across the top of the zone. That's in for a strike. The pitch. All these over at first with one away. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, that's one. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. Nothing doing here this half. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Braves three and the Dodgers nothing.
And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the rookie center fielder, Andy Pajes. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that's well, that off the, the inside edge. And that's ball one. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now, Boog, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Wouldn't chase that time. And a pitch. And oh, another ball. ball the Dodgers trailing by three here in the last half of the third. Way outside. Now three and one. Kicks and fires. Gets the call. Three and two down. Nobody out. Runner at first. Riley. Over to Albies. And two. What a play. If you blink, you might miss it, and that's the magic of the 5-4-3 double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. Here's Mookie Betts. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And he deals. And look Man, out. That, that one gets him. Me. The second man he's plunked in this one. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all, but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate. Left-hand batter waits. In the dirt, but kept close. Nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. So two on with two away. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Flied to left his first time. Right through there for a strike. Some base hit into center field. Betts headed for the plate. He scores, and it's three to one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, two outs. And up to the plate is Will Smith. 
And strike one to the catcher. All one's the count. So the tying run at second. Out in front and foul to the left side. And the right hander deals. One down. Squirts away a little bit. The tag at third, and he's out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3 1 ball game. Back after this show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The pitch. And there's the strike. On one. Next offering is downstairs. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Pitch misses, ball two. And a pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. This one smacked out to left center. And Olsen is set down. And there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And next for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That one at 95 missed ball up one, top. Right. Ball one. One out, base is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. And it sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. One out, runner at second. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Right through there for a strike. Righty to the plate. In the air, right field. And he'll play it on a bounce. Fires it to the plate, but it's offline. And they're up by three. Picks himself up an RBI. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. First oh, pitch good. misses. Man at first, one away. There's a swing and a drive. That's down, one hops off the wall. Coming home. He'll score easily. It's 5-1. Pulls him to third safely with a triple. A couple of hits in a row for him here. They call those the alleys for a reason, man. They're long, and if you can't cut the ball off as an outfielder before it gets by you, that hitter's going to run for a while. That right there is a beautiful swing and nice hustle for the triple. Runner at third with one gone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Darno. He hit into a double play his first time up. And that's oh, down it away. Oh, 
and a pitch. Fastball for a strike. And a count one and one. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Shohei Otani, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Yarbrough also getting ready. Harris stands at third with one gone in the inning. Just missed. And that another ball. ball. Three. three balls, one strike. Up the middle. Bats up with it. Tosses to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. That right there was pre-pitch preparation by the base runner. Excellent job. He knew that he was going on contact once he saw the ball down. If he hesitates at all, the defense has an option to go home and try to cut him off. But a really nice job of base running. Kelman nope. takes ball a ball down. as he stands in for the second time. Two gone, base is empty, but three runs across, top half of inning number four. Line drive, base hit. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Oh, Acuna stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs. And oh, another ball. Out. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Landon Nat will depart. Got them some innings, but they didn't come easy. New pitcher coming on, and we'll be back after a quick break. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands, and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Swing and a foul straight back. Strike two. No ball, two, two outs. Strike. Couple of base runners at first and second. Fights it off. He'll see another. The O2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. They strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple left on. On now to the bottom of the fourth, Braves six, and the Dodgers one. Bottom of the fourth, and here's the catcher, Will Smith. The catcher. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Popped up right side. Albies has a beat on it. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting right fielder, Jay Oscar. Hernandez. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And he's already singled in this game. Hey. 
Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder number coming baseman, open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Hernandez in the box now. No balls in a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. Two down, nobody on. Olsen, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Dodgers down in order. The lead remains five. It's six one. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. The pitch. Aye. Oh, one now. And it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. On the ground a second, might be two. And he can't come up with it. He saved. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. Counts one and oh. Riley over at second. Olsen on at first with nobody out. Wouldn't That's chase Olsen. that time. 2 0. Oh. Kicks and deals. That's a strike, and it's 2 and 1. and second go out and we're in the top of the fifth gets a piece and stays alive great swing and solid contact just a little too quick he's got to stay back a little longer got him swinging here's the shortstop at the play Orlando Arcia Oh, that's it. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Dives, but it's foul. Mm -hmm. 
right through there for a strike. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He scores. It's 7-1. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out. Runners at first and second. Sliced hard but foul. And the righty deals. That one pushed foul. That one missing inside. And it skips into dirt. And down on strikes he goes. Now two out. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Darno. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Good eye in that spot. Next That's pitch is downstairs. Two balls, one strike. Two on, two outs. That oh, one misses, and that's ball three. Righty delivers. That one to first. Freeman steps on the bag. They limit the damage here. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves seven and the Dodgers one. Back here in L.A., we head to the bottom of the fifth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. Morton back to work. Hey! on one Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Well, it's a little concerning when a fastball gets away like that. No run or break to worry about, and he'd still hit him. Pies. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Swing and a miss. 0-2 now. No balls, two strikes. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The second base And next for oh, L.A., Miguel Rojas. 0 for 1 so far. Foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. High fly ball out into left center field. And he makes the catch. Now that. The shortstop, 
Mookie Betts. Now it's Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 1. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Top of the zone for a called strike. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two on, one out. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. You know, but one thing about being a great switch hitter, it's so tough to keep both of your swings sharp. I mean, sometimes it can feel like a long time in between at bats against a lefty or vice versa. You can work on both. Over to Arcia. That's one. Back to first, double play. And that's the ball game. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for this team today. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.